This is James Holder for the Cass and Helder Show. I'm in Loughton today at the Pro SW Gym. With me, we've got the current Southern Area Champion, Miles Shinkwin. All right, Milo? How you doing, James? All right, mate? I'm all right. Fresh back from Monaco. How was your experience sparring Andy Lee? Um, you're real good, mate. Real good experience. Good learning. Um, there weren't a lot to do out there, but we're there to, you're there to learn rather than have a fun time. Rumours are that he couldn't get a hold of George Groves, so <laughs> brought in the next best thing, literally. Do you reckon we did an interview scene where you don't say that? Even he started saying it now. Do you know what? I think he's catching on a little bit. I've had a lot of tweets recently, no, mate. No one, no one says it. I've been used to. Well, we're going we're gonna to change that from here on in. I, I don't think I like him. Talk to me a little bit about the show. You're fighting Friday at York Hall. Um, was was meant to be headlining this card. Oval's kind of been moved in. Co-feature now, co-top of the bill. You're just digging me out the whole interview or what? <laughs> I'm being serious. Um, yeah, it was, it was supposed to be main event, but um, a bigger fight's come along and it, it takes its place. You know, I understand that. A British Commonwealth title fight, it's got to be main event. So uh, I got bumped down. I mean, for yourself, this is a, a huge, huge Huge night for yourself. First defence of your Southern Area title. Looking on to push on for big things. How confident are you come Saturday you'll be in good good form? Oh, 100%. Um, you know, my, every fight I always say is, oh, training camp was great, this, that, and whatever. But I can honestly say, this this, this is the first time I've had a 100% training camp. Weight's been good. Sparring's been excellent. Um, no illnesses, no injuries. I, I can honestly say it's been perfect. So you're going to see the best of me yet on the 27th. Aspirations for big things this year. Talk to me a little bit about what you think of the light heavyweight division in the UK. Um, out of all the weights, it's wide open. I mean, um, just seen that Bob Adjusaf is fighting for the vacant Commonwealth title. So I, I guess he'll fight Dickinson for, for, for the both titles, British and Commonwealth, in the summertime. Um, end of the year, I, I'm, not, I'm not one to call names out, James, you know that, but I will fight anyone. So if, if they want, if, if I get a chance by end of the year to fight British title, I'm going to grab it. This will be your 10th professional contest this weekend. Making good progress now. and sign, Obviously signing with Frank Warren, a major promoter. This is pushing you forward in the right direction. Yes, it mate. It's always all about going forwards rather than staying still. And um, with Frank, I, I will be going forward. He'll get the right fights along with Jason, my manager Richard. They'll uh, get me the right fights at the right time. You know, they're, they're the ones to hold me back. I, like I said, I'd fight anyone tomorrow. So their job's to get me the right fights and uh, tell me where we're going. What did Frank say to you when you signed your contract? What what kind of swung the boat for you in terms of getting you getting you here? Um, you know, Jason and Terry and Richard, the manager, will say that Frank wants the best in the business at getting you the right fights at the right time, um, guiding careers and not just throwing people in. So when the, the opportunity came, we went and had a meeting. They set out four fights this year, four fights next year. You know, hopefully all minimum of 10 rounders, championship fights. So that's what I want, that's what, that's what I want to be in. I don't want to be in non-competitive fights. I want fights where people say, mm, this, is a, this is a tough one, what's going to happen here? So, and then when I win, they say, cool, he's done well there. Congratulations on the birth of your child. Is this your first first child, Miles? First one, mate, yeah. First one. How has this obviously affected your training camp for this fight? Because it's, it's a lot on your mind becoming a new dad, isn't it? Um, you know what? We uh, She was three weeks early, so... We didn't know until last Saturday that she was going to be that early. Um, I was at Monaco when the missus rang me and said, "We got I'm being induced next Saturday. I got back on the Friday, got induced Saturday, and she had a 20 past 12 last night. So n none really, no effect at all. You know, last night I didn't get a great night's sleep, but I, I th I'd rather see me a little girl being born rather than have a good night's sleep. So tonight I get back to bed and with back training, all's well and good. Can you describe that feeling when you held your little girl for the first time? What was going through your mind? I'm glad she's like her mum. <laughs> uh, it's just great. There's no word to describe, mate. Is there? You know, everyone says when you get there, this and that. But when I got older, I just couldn't. I couldn't say anything. Brilliant feeling.